Central Florida resident Bobby Mastrangelo is internationally known for her artwork based on the theme of manhole covers. She uses relief sculpture, mixed media, and fiber art in order to capture the essence of utility covers in urban settings. You put something down that represents your inner soul and it's down there on paper and then up on the wall, other people can enjoy it. And you, you feel fulfilled that you've done something outside of yourself. Well, the great works, I didn't know they were gonna happen. <laughs> it just evolved. Uh, I grew up in, a, in a, an atmosphere of we love Renoir and the Impressionists and so on. And uh, um, so when I went back to college to study art, the professor was giving me low marks. <laughs> I didn't like that, I'm competitive. So I said, what do I need to do? He said, you need a theme or a style or nobody will know who you are. I said, manhole covers, <laughs> it's like Eureka, that, that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, that was 1979. And once I found out that that was a theme that nobody else was doing, and I entered a show in, in Manhattan called New Art in New York, and people advised me, they said, well, try your new theme. I entered it and they said, congratulations, you're in it. And I had six weeks to hurry up and do this great manhole cover artwork. So I, I just got started. I only had had a few pieces and to show them and then I had to have a whole wall. And that got started and it's been going on ever since. I start the manhole cover with an idea of which one I want to do. First, I take pictures of it the way it is, especially if it's got litter with it, and I've got that documentation. Then I brush off the litter and secure the corners, and then I have a kneeling pad, and I have a regular rubbing block crayon to take, to take the rubbing. Now I'm getting a little bit older. <laughs> it seems I can get someone else to do the rubbing for me. With carbon paper, I trace the rubbing onto the foam. And sometimes there are various layers. I have to plan how I'm gonna hang it and how I'm gonna work it all out but I carve with those little snap-off knives and use a knife sharpener in between and carve out the various parts of the, uh, the manhole cover. Then I cover the whole piece with either that plaster bandage wrap that they use for making casts, either that or I use cheesecloth. Then after that's done, it gets painted with cement. Then I uh, take it outside and throw some more sand on it, put some glue down, throw some sand, stuff in a little bit of moss anything. Sometimes I'm out there sweeping up the grit on the streets and bring it back in and dump it in the crevices of my manhole cover. It's fun watching it evolve and people like when we were in San Francisco and I did a rubbing of their manhole cover, it was a whole crowd around. They were videotaping it and watching it. Uh, it, it becomes, and anybody who's gone out to do a rubbing has an adventure. They do it for me. They say everybody thinks they're crazy but they all stand and watch them do it. It's probably whatever I'm working on at the time I love <laughs> because that absorbs all my imagination right then. I love the, uh, the one from North Carolina, the cross, the cross cannons and the palm tree because that has a whole legend to it and I love the design of it. And sometimes that outside spirit captures your imagination and that goes into it all. I think it's, it's a really great, it's a great experience. To see more from Bobby, visit bobbymastrangelo.com. For more arts and culture, visit our website at wucftv.org slash artisodes.